What's up? How are you guys today? Hope you enjoyed your 4th of July weekend. But Frankie Boy is down here on a Sunday because I don't want to skip a vlog this week and my guys are going to take off tomorrow, Monday, for the 4th. My guys usually like working seven days a week. They rarely ask me for days off, but maybe a few holidays out of the year they do want the day off. I guess they'd rather just <laughs> make some more money. So the eggs went well. We did sell out of them last weekend, and I only got a few emails about breakage. So if you guys did have any issues with the eggs, whether they didn't arrive okay, if you them broke, whatever it is, please just reach out to me via email and we can issue a refund or sort out the issue. I did want to say, since the weather is getting warmer, uh, you guys should ideally order like 10, 15, 20 pounds of meat because there are a few instances where it's like two or three day shipping and the person ordered like two things and we put so much ice in it and it still doesn't get there okay and then we have to issue a refund. So uh, keep in mind if you guys order more product, there is more like thermal capacity of the meat. So it will stay colder for a longer period of time. Uh, but outside of that, as usual, we have the positives and the negatives this week. We should have a few things coming back in. Uh, eggs should be restocked on Wednesday along with uh, the charcuterie products from that butcher, the hot dogs, the sausages, bologna. Hopefully everything comes in okay. We'll see how that goes. Uh, more nonsense as usual, issues with the landlord, issues with contractors and um, HVAC guys. I'm trying to get to fix some stuff in here, but we'll go into a little detail once we jump inside. You guys saw last week we got the bar machine back up and running, so we have quite a lot of pemmican bars that we made over last week. I think we have almost 5,000 of them and my guys are putting them away today. So we will have the pemmican back in stock. Maybe the best bars and granola bars to come next week as well. I've been having a hard time finding uh, beef fat. So we might not have the tallow or the best bars for a while. I don't really know. Uh, sourcing everything has kind of been an issue. We did restock the jerky as well, guys. We have the plain jerky available on frankiesrangefoods.com and we should have the flavor jerky available next week. But let's jump into the freezer because we did get a few restocks over last week. So you guys have been buying the Wagyu ground beef. This is $9 a pound right now, 80-20. We have both the chicken stock and the collagen broth in, guys. Still some Wagyu tomahawks. Maybe uh, we'll grow one of these up one day, not really sure. We have the quails back in stock, both uh, bone in like this one and the deboned quail, as well as the beef cheeks. You guys have been buying a lot of these. Still have plenty of the Iberico rib chops as well as pork chops, the strip steaks. But the main thing that we got back in that a lot of you guys have been asking for is the veal brains. And these are actually a bit larger too. This is 1.5 pound of veal brains. It's a lot but we have plenty of that for you guys. Veal liver as well, we ran out of the veal liver last week, but we have the nice portions back in stock. Up here, we just have a ton of picanha, so if you guys have been missing the whole picanha, we have that, and I think there's some Wagyu picanha in here as well. Yeah, this is the Wagyu picanha, so if you want something with a little more marbling, a bit more fat, we have both the regular grass-fed picanha, which is around three or four pounds each, and the Wagyu picanhas are a bit larger, around five pounds each. The veal sweetbreads are back in stock too, about one pound portions on the sweetbreads. We got a lot of Wagyu steak ends in stock. These are very cheap, affordable. You guys have been enjoying this stuff. Whole short ribs too, four or five pound slabs if you guys want to marinate or dry rub them and throw them on the grill. So for the most part, that's it. My suppliers have been telling me they're going to get me the beef liver, the marrow bones, tendons, all this other stuff for like the past two months and they haven't been coming in. So I'm just that. Yeah, I'm just like whatever at this point. So in the fridge, we do have some very lean top brown that we're going to grind up for like a 95.5 lean blend and some organic ribeye and tenderloin that we're going to cut up later this week as well. All of the cheeses are in stock, guys. That's what's left of the eggs. And then this is some of the fire roast ribeye I made last week. We're probably going to have to uh, toss most of this and I'm going to have a fresh batch for you guys. Uh, this week and we'll also have the fresh uh, roast beef for you guys this week but maybe I'll just eat some of these over the weekend myself so as usual a few things stressing me out every single week the small one is I have this deli slicer and the legs broke off the guy I purchased it from said he's gonna fix it it's been like four weeks now I've called the guy every single day to come fix it and he still hasn't done it 
Bigger issue is I gave an HVAC guy a $3,000 deposit. One job was to fix the condensation leak from the air conditioning system, which he still hasn't come to do. So my guys are sitting here, you know, either hot with this off or, you know, they're comfortable, but this stuff is dripping all over the floor every single day. Three weeks now, called him every single day too. Said he's coming, said he's coming, hasn't showed up. He's supposed to have like a part to fix the vent system so it doesn't smell as much in my neighbor's place anymore too. But yeah, you know, I, I got this leaking all over the place. I've called up other HVAC guys. No one can come down here. Just, why do I have to deal with this stuff? Every, every single thing is like pulling teeth. Every single thing is like pulling teeth. Getting the simple part on the bar machine fixed took me four weeks. HVAC guy doesn't show up. Little plumbing leak. Three, it's, it just never ends. And on top of that, the landlord filed his own lawsuit in Bronx Housing Court. And the guy is so connected to this area that he got a court date in like a week, which is crazy to me because I filed a case in Supreme Court. They didn't respond to the Supreme Court case. Instead, he had his lawyers file a case in Bronx Housing Court to try to evict me. And now I got to go there next Monday or something to, to see what's going on. So it's just completely ridiculous. Uh, maybe I'll have to do a whole explanation on, on that story, but you guys know the story. I've talked about it before. Neighbor complained about the smell and the management, lack of communication. It's gotten to the point where their solution now is to try to get me kicked out, probably because he just wants to raise the rent, as rents have gone up a lot over the past, uh, past year, year and a half. He could probably get double what I'm paying in here. Uh, in brighter news, as I said earlier, the eggs should be restocked this Wednesday, as well as the sausages, hot dogs, bologna and stuff. So hopefully... Uh, next week, Monday, for the vlog, we have a nice announcement of those products. I can show them to you guys. I'm not holding my breath, you know, with everything that goes wrong. Who knows? Maybe we'll get it this week. Maybe we'll get it next week. I'm not 100% sure. But on Thursday, I do have to go visit uh, the upstate New York processing plant. So we're going to take a flight in the morning, fly out there, then uh, take a look around, come back. I'm probably not going to film a vlog. I mean, I haven't been on a plane in God knows how long, how many years. So I'm not really looking forward to that day and traveling and all driving and all that stuff, but I kind of have to do it. We're basically going to go out there, take a look at the plant, see how much he wants for it, see what types of uh, resources he has available for me out there, whether he knows builders or contractors or people to get me a loan, because I'm going to have to build something out there to kind of replace this space and, and ship stuff out of. So if we can get a loan, if the slaughterhouse is good, if... Uh, I can build that building at a reasonable price. I, I think it might work out, but as I said, guys, for the past year, my brain has been on a beach in Colombia because I'm over this. It's just, it's not worth me losing my mind. It just, I just can't do it anymore. So sun just came out. It's really beautiful, nice day here in New York. I'm going to try to uh, get the work I have to do done and then go home, catch some sun, maybe feel a little better. But thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you have been enjoying all the products I provide for you guys to help you improve your health and feel better yourself. But you guys can go to frank to see all of my businesses. And uh, I will see you guys for the next video.